The Star Wars franchise has a lot of fans, but right now the most dedicated are gathered in California. With The Force Awakens still months away, the movie makers are already revealing new clues. ABC's Clayton Sandell is there. Tonight, The Force is definitely with director J.J. Abrams. Uh, who wants to see a new teaser? After revealing the latest trailer today for The Force Awakens at a four-day-long Star Wars celebration in Anaheim. Fans say it's classic Abrams. The new teaser gives a healthy nod to old Star Wars nostalgia. Crash Star Destroyers, Darth Vader's helmet, Luke's voice. I have it. And the moment that has the whole convention and now the internet buzzing. We're home. Harrison Ford as Han Solo on the big screen for the first time since 1983. I love you. I know. Yeah, I'm crying. It's awesome. Every single time I even hear the fanfare, yeah. I get chills and I start to tear up. But the biggest fans, hundreds of them, dress up. Do you get a lot of requests <laughs> for pictures? I do. Yeah, I have today. Shocking. <laughs> yeah. Over at the tattoo booth, you can take any character with you permanently. Well, this is the scene where he's watching his homestead burn. Yeah, most people here are pretty serious. Although there are some Jedis in training. What does Darth Vader do? He's a bad guy. This new trailer has sparked all kinds of questions about newcomers John Boyega, Daisy Riley, and Oscar Isaac, who were careful not to reveal too much plot. Are you a bad guy or a good guy in this movie? My memory is just gone. I, I, yeah. They took the stage today with a few Star Wars originals, along with that new droid, BB-8, which it turns out is totally real and not computer animation. But can The Force Awakens live up to the high expectations? Abrams seems to think so. With millions of fans all around the world, are you afraid to disappoint with this movie? And how can you guarantee you will please every single last one of them? Well, we just will. Um, I've never had more fun in my life working on anything. The rest of us will have to wait until the movie opens in December to share his fun. For Nightline, I'm Clayton Sandell in Anaheim, California. Can't wait. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, will be coming to you in December from our parent company, Disney. The Star Wars franchise has a lot of fans, but right now the most dedicated are gathered in California. With The Force Awakens still months away, the movie makers are already revealing new clues. ABC's Clayton Sandell is there. Tonight, The Force is definitely with director J.J. Abrams. Uh, who wants to see a new teaser? After revealing the latest trailer today for The Force Awakens at a four-day-long Star Wars celebration in Anaheim. Fans say it's classic Abrams. The new teaser gives a healthy nod to old Star Wars nostalgia. Crash Star Destroyers, Darth Vader's helmet, Luke's voice. I have it. And the moment that has the whole convention and now the internet buzzing. We're home. Harrison Ford.